The oceans connect Earth. Every human alive today is affected by the ocean in some way. It is so much more than just a body of water. The ocean connects us through food, trade, recreation, and it is our most important resource that can propel humankind forward. The human population is growing and expanding, and we will need the ocean to sustain us. And to continue protecting our oceans while sustaining human life, we need to get creative. Hi, my name's Natalie. Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm interested in low trophic aquaculture and how we can sustainably design farms. And I'm interested in the interconnect between marine policy, commercial practices, and science and conservation. I mean, my answer to that question is that we just dream big. <laughs> and to dream big, we need to start our research at the smallest level. Our research involves lower trophic organisms, red abalone and dull seaweed. Lower trophic means lower on the food chain. Being able to sustainably produce lower trophic animals and seaweed for human consumption means we are using less energy to grow them. Less energy means cheaper production and more affordable food options for consumers. We want to know how warming ocean temperatures change the nutritional composition of seaweeds and how this change in nutrition affects juvenile abalone growth. Applying this to a larger scale, how can farmers take this information and use it to farm more efficiently as climate change actively affects the oceans? Applying this knowledge and scaling it up to be integrated into offshore farms, specifically below marine wind turbines, is a big idea. But combining our future energy sources with sustainable farming practices can help mitigate climate change and the growing concern of food security. Similar designs are already being tested to grow oysters and seaweed. Abalone are a great candidate for offshore wind farms because they are slow growing and can be farmed alongside their food source. Looking forward, clean energy and sustainable aquaculture farming practices can alleviate some of the pressures put on wild animal populations and terrestrial farming while utilizing the age of technology that we are in. Our research project looking at abalone growth rates on different seaweed diets is just wrapping up. And while we are a distance away from building wind turbines in our lab space, we hope our next project steps will contribute to these larger goals. The integration of Sam's interests in marine policy and my interest in low trophic aquaculture has proven to be a great working relationship with the potential to construct impactful experiments. The protection of our ocean ecosystems and creating these farms sustainably has to be at the forefront of any application of these ideas. Creating aquaculture farms beneath offshore wind turbines progresses us towards a greener future that can protect our wild fisheries, create clean energy, and feed our growing population sustainably.